Welcome back, you guys. Oh, God, I could not wait to get into this. Uh, I have so many questions. Who's all here? Doesn't look like anybody but boss and uh, pewter is here. I'm so excited to get into this. Uh, boss, there's no Cyclops uh, serial killings. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. You don't have to. That that dream pretty much told me anything. I mean, told me everything. Sorry, not anything. Told me everything I need to know. The blue figure from the psych. This, this help thing. me understand this. What I saw during the sinker. Sorry, I said psych. That was the scene sink. of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you could not say that for certain. Yeah, because you don't you remember no nothing. memories past six years ago. Yeah, you don't remember. I'm like really invested into this, you guys. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. Oh, wow. Uh, I think that's why they gave him Aiba. Maybe they gave him Aiba to keep an eye on I'm him. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. I don't believe that. I mean, either she doesn't know or she does know. And she's not trying to tell us at all. And if that's the case, then he should be able, like, as long as he don't like to revert back to his bad state, I guess. What about the original? Go away, Microsoft. Uh, what about the original Cyclops sil serial killings? The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of. Sorry if I skipped it. I was trying to get the Microsoft thing off my uh. There isn't screen. It's a coincidence. Really? Really. Is it really that much of a coincidence? Can, if he doesn't remember anything, why did the original Cyclops killer appear in Iris Somnia? You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. It's a possibility. Because remember, what we saw in the beginning with her mom, Boss has a serious look on her face. With her mom dying, because her mom, that was her mom, right? In the beginning, that died. So with her mom dying and stuff, it's a possibility that it's somebody imitating us. We might be the, um, we might be the, um, people from, from the past, like the psych, uh, the original Cyclops killer, but the person that's imitating us is possibly somebody that knows, you know, the connections between uh, each person. Like they know that Dante knows the mother. They know what well, he just found out who the mother is. The mother of uh, Iris is friends with um, Rinju or whatever his name is. I can't remember his name anymore <laughs> and his ex-wife and maybe they after to the kill like Mizuki and all of them and stuff so it's, it could be like that the red figure in the saw me in a, earlier in a saw someone else who might be the criminal who was he I wouldn't know only Iris knows I feel like and we have to go and talk to her um the original and the new incidents. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. 
I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed Ranger. these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Because it's you. Because you're the killer. That's why. About the original Cyclops killer. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. Maybe, just maybe, hear me out. Maybe Dante has a twin brother. That could be a case. Scott, you, you, I mean, Spike, you The Sinker does not always smart. experience the somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories even repressed subconscious ones. When using the sync machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia, and why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not bored or anything. I promise. It's just I'm I just I'm just waking up. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation: Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that Dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes, I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Wow. So it's a possibility. Uh, are all the memories real? Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. You know what? I've always wanted to go into... <sighs> what is it called? I forgot what it's called, but when I went to school, I wanted to be a therapist. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. I went to be a therapist and Because the human mind is just amazing to me like that. Thank you siren. I apologize for the sirens outside you. I live actually right by a hospital. So Y'all hear that I do apologize Summarize it for me Didn't learn anything hold on turn this off. I didn't learn anything from speaking with boss or pewter. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. Pewter shook me from my thoughts. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I headed to the sink room. Hey, Iris, about that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. Then what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? She's lying. No. 
What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. Hold on, you guys. I've never been there. We gon' we gon' wait. We gon' wait for them. Thank you. Can can y'all can y'all keep going? All right. Sorry, y'all. Uh, she knows. Something. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. She knows something, and even if she is suppressed, it's still she knows it. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's th She's lying. Dante, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. She might be in trouble, though. If they find out, maybe somebody knows about the sinking and stuff, and... So maybe... Are you serious? I mean, I'm glad nothing's going on right now. Date, could we make a stop first? Oh, boy. Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. Uh-oh. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Yeah, I mean... Besides, there's a lot I want to <clears> ask her, too. It might clear up some right, stuff if we sure. can get her to open up those memories that she... Just suppressed. Iris nodded and I pulled out my phone. Out her phone. And pulled out her phone, sorry. Is she sending a now message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. I was going to turn off the thingy, but it wasn't like long. I only turn them off because sometimes I'll be reading and I'll stop in the mid sentence and I'll start, like, you know, spewing out my thoughts. And then, like, it's like, it's all confused. We walked in. I didn't see Mama anywhere. Oh, don't tell me Mama's gone, too. I'll be so mad. To my surprise, I saw, saw Ota sitting on the couch. What is... Tessa! Oh, Ota. You knew he was here. She knew he was here. Oh. What are you doing here? Where's Mama? Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. I wasn't particularly surprised. Is that Dante, like, drinking something in the background? Mama's always dependent on kindness of strangers ever since she opened the marble. Was that not Dante? I said, ah. You guys listen to the music. Oh, y'all heard that? I never thought I'd run into you here. I mean, you're 26, so. I was niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. Um, I guess. I mean, you're not a friend, you're a fan, so... No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. I mean, okay. We did ask her why was she, who she sent a message to, but you call Ota here? No, I didn't tell him to come. He just showed up on his own. Let me see the messages. Had me out here fibbing and stuff. Uh, maybe something that we have to look for here but I don't see it if we do please have talked to it. what was that thing about this actually works out nicely I want to ask you something Ota it's about a Nile message you sent Iris you said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing that you'd stay quiet no matter what what were you talking about well uh I'll tell her about the two-witter thing. I swear I'll do it. 
Jeez, fine. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? Yeah, we got you by but the nards. Before I tell you, who's that? What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. I swear, if there's no one there, I will punch you in the eye. What? Oh, just a bad guy. I knew it. I said, look, if you've been watching all these videos, I said it. Oda is bad. He was bad dudes from the beginning. Mama's there. He didn't kill mama. And now we next. I said, uh-huh. I'm doing my, I'm doing my I told y'all so dance because I told y'all that he was bad. Woo, I'm happy. I'm not happy, but woo, I'm happy. <laughs> I knew there was something up with Ota. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. He didn't kid me. Where am I? My head was killing me and my memories was foggy. Oh, I felt a certain pain in my neck. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. I shot up rubbing my neck when I looked over the counter I saw a monster staring back at me, mama. It took me a few seconds before I realized it was just mama. <laughs> it looks like you're awake now. As mama spoke to me, it all came rushing back. I remember it everything oh he's gonna get it when I see him I'm gonna ring by his little short neck I swear we can't really look around anywhere so I guess we gotta talk to mama where's Ota Ota the boy I asked to watch the bar I'd say he's too old to be called a boy but yeah he was already gone when I came back all I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. And Mama. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. I can't believe he did that. I know I knew something was up with Oda. From the beginning, I knew something was up with Oda. I didn't want to say nothing, because I know how people like to spoil stuff for you. Be like, eh, this happens, and this happens, and you know, the gods come send their dead body wrath. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. No. Oh. I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Just like the old days. Jeez, thanks, Mama. You're such a big help. Look at you. Look how adorable you are. Where is Ota? What time is it? It'll be 3 o'clock soon. PM? In the morning, of course. AM. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for definitely clearing that up for me. Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. <gasps> oh, just the killer? No. Iris. No, Iris is gonna die. No. No, that's. The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura. Iris. Date, focus. We need to get to the site now. Ota was the killer the whole time. I think Mama ran out of the marble. Ota was the killer the whole entire time. 
I knew something was up with him. I said it. I, I, I'm not even gonna say I said it again because y'all already know I said it. It has been recorded and put on YouTube. What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. 20 minutes at the fastest. Please, please let me make it a ton. I can't believe. Wow. <sighs> that sick bastard. I knew something was fishy about Ulta. Now he's got a furry thing going on, you sick freak you. Oh no. Poor little Iris. Her body's gonna be torn in half. Tessa! Hold on! I'll save you! Ulta! So, nah. Nah, 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 nah. He said some weird stuff up. Like he said some weird stuff up. I know it's him. He's got some weird going on. And I don't like it. I kept my foot on the gas the whole time. Jesus, you didn't stop. <laughs> I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine rage and a high pitched scream. Yeah, because you're got pedal to the metal. But I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding and my ears shaking me to the core. How much time has passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Look, these little inner thoughts need to stop. Eventually, the car reached the long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. You need to stop these small little you know, inner thoughts and stuff and figure some stuff out. Why is it going back? Is it looping? No, it can't be. No. I think the video is looping. Stop! No! Cover your eyes, people. Cover your eyes. Oh my. No! No. 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 She wasn't even 18 yet, was she? She's only 17, right? It's Ota's fault. I swear he better be dead or he's getting killed. If they give me the option to, to slice and dice him, he's gone. We didn't make it. Poor Tessa. Huh? What? Something weird is going on. I don't understand it. Like I'm no, I'm sure they're going to clear it all up in the end, but Oda? Is that Ota? That's oh, I knew something was being set up. Jesus Christ, so Tessa's dead and now Ulta's dead too. And we didn't even get her to like get her to unpress those bad memories. And, and I don't I think I should stop right now. Like Oh no, I can't. I gotta wait till I can talk to someone so I can save. What the? And it's his fault. There you are, finally. 
I was looking all over for you. And it's his fault. It's, he shouldn't have took her. Why? I don't know what... I don't know what's going on. It's rare to see you down like this. But it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble. And about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. Am I right? You think? Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Ota had a selfish love for Iris. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife, killed her, then killed himself. That, no, I don't feel like that's the case. Then they show me it again. <sighs> and then we're not, I'm sure we have to That's tell him. That's ridiculous. Mom. Ota would never kill Iris. And how do you explain the other two murders? Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. They're saying Ota did it. Those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. They're saying that Ota did it. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. Such as? Break it down for her, uh, Dante, because she... You know what? We can stop right here. All right. Whew, y'all. I did not expect Oda to be dead. Oh, sorry, Hadi. Let me tell y'all where my uh thought pro my thought pattern was going. It was more so stacking blocks up against Oda being the killer. And then after I seen that Tessa died, a tiny little block dropped right in the middle. It's like maybe he's not the killer. Maybe he's working with someone who is a killer. So maybe he set something up like the guy contacted him was like, hey, you know, I can make Tessa love you or if you save her from me and all this other stuff. Because, you know, he set the, the Twitter or whatever they call it in here, Twitter up. So maybe he set it up to be like, you know, if you save Tessa, she'll love you. And then after he ki actually killed Tessa, then he killed Oda at the same time. Oda's had small kids. I mean, we're not a kid. He's a grown man. He's like 26. I, I believe he's 26. And Iris is a small kid. But still, like, oh my god. Like, that's crazy. Like, I did not expect Oda to die. I expected Oda to be putting, like, some weird thing up on live stream. Like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm the, uh, kill, I'm the savior of Tessa. You know, she owed me her life and all this other bull crap and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to stop it right here. Thank you all so much, you guys. I'm glad you guys enjoyed rocking with me, vibing with me. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the boss's rack because I have been, like, nonstop glancing at it. I'm not, I'm sorry. You just got them out there and I'm going to compliment them. They look nice. So, thank you guys so much. I will see all you lovely people in the next video. Bye.